Hello and welcome back, dear friends. It's me, Odo. I'm back in my campaign of Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. Um, last time we were walking through Green Gate and looking for some ball to um, get rid of a old hag. And I said in between episodes I will go for a sleep. And then I did something stupid. Because I <laughs> went into the next room, um, as you can see, there is a next room, and I thought, uh, well, probably there's the bell. Before I go to sleep, I look there, <laughs> and there is the hag. Um, so I reloaded, because I uh, wanted the bell before the fight with the hag. I mean, probably the bell is in the bell free. What? Does Belfry mean in German anyway? Bell Tower? If it's Bell Tower, then it should have been uh, clear that it's inside here. But yeah. Anyway, I didn't I didn't <clears throat> save before the fight, so I had to do the fight again and look at good grey boy he died in the fight. Oh I got I got punished for my stupidity. That's okay. I can live with that. Reboot doesn't die another time. That's okay. So let's go to the Belfry. Whatever Belfry means. And look for the bell there. And then look at the hag if we can kill her. Hey, there's a bell. <laughs> look at this bell. The bell now reunited with its clapper produces a gentle melodious sound. Ah, I see. We, we're never going to take the bell with us. We just... <laughs> we just had to go there and... and bell it. <laughs> Let's just pick the lock. Wolchiff, would you please? Ooh, boots. That's another part. Boots of free reign. These boots grant a very permanent effect of the freedom of movement spell. That's nice. So... Great boy, do you have boots already? No, you don't. That's your boots. Yours or Wolchiff's, because um, if we have freedom of movement on all my characters, on all the front row characters, uh, we could do the entanglement spells more often. So let's move outside again. We rang the bell. So, hmm. if we move there, will we go automatically around or will we move through the mobility check? We will move around. Okay, yeah, let's move around. It's way. Before we move to the hag, we will all also do some, some <laughs> uh, boost things, stuff. <laughs> ah, you still have the armor from last night. Nice. Oh, we are so slow. We are so slow. We are probably run around like no guys. Uh, 
Okay. Let's do this. Um, no, wait. Who still? Why? Why are you so slow? Can you tell me? Good hope. Spell and still spell warning non stacking. Oh, we still have a good hope. I, I, I used the good hope last in the last fight, and is it still there? Interesting. Yeah, okay. Wolchiv, you are doing the armor spell on Nenjo. Nanyo, you are doing the displacement spell. No, not the displacement, because it's one round per level, so we'll do this last. Terrorism spell on Len or Greybore or the pig. Nah, not the pig. He's not doing a lot of damage. Le Graybor, Wolchif, and Lan are doing the damage, so let's put it to. Give it to Lan, why not? Lan, you are not doing anything. Yeah, well, take the Fox King. You are doing a Bless. You are not doing anything. You will have to do a lot of stuff. First of all, you need a Magic Fang. On the pig. Okay, next. You're doing an invisibility on yourself. You are doing. Uh, no, not the displacement. Mm. Invisibility? No. You are doing the invisibility, probably. Nah. Yeah. We'll do the invisibility on Grey Ball. Just because you can. You are not doing nothing. You are doing. Uh, the protection from alignment. One minute? Nah, probably not now. Just do another thing first, like uh, death wall. One minute per level. One friendly unit, like on grey boar. I am prepared. You are doing the acid maw. You got the acid more. Okay, next. Uh, you are doing a hurricane bow. You are doing nothing. You are doing another death ward. This time on Wolchiv. You are doing nothing. You are doing. Now you are doing the displacement on the pig. Because I want her to attack the pig. And you are doing... What are you doing? You could do another invisibility. Hmm. Oh no, a cat's grace on Len, because he doesn't have a belt found out last time. Okay, so next, a death ward on the pig. You are doing the fell aspect of the falcon. You are doing, I don't know, yeah, now you're doing the protection from evil, probably. You are doing uh, 
We have another mage armor, but we don't need it. Do we? No. An enlarged person. Yes. Raybor. Can you also do anything more? No. You are done with your boots. I mean, you could do another invisibility, but it's only the people in the back and the pig left. So, you do at least at last this one on Philomukas, and you are doing the haste on everyone. And that's it, probably. Is it? Yeah. What are you doing? Performed with pinkies out. This is energy communal. Ooh, I should have started the fight and looked if she's using something like fire magic or so. Sonic. Yeah, let's let's do man. Let's do let's do fire just because we can. Okay, that's it. Pig, get there. Me, you get there. You get there. You get here. You get there. I welcome your company. You stay in the back. You stay in the back as well. That's it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. Pig, move forward. The goal, how dare you show up here of all places? Huh? Does she mean me or? The woman. I don't know. Reborn. Let's do a study part on her. Pig. Let's move there and uh, Wow, Pig, you are so great! 62 points of damage. Okay. First of all, let's look at the guy. This is Jeruka. She seems... Ah, wait, what? Deal 62 damage reduced to zero? Why? Reduced to 62. Yeah, but that's just one point of damage reduction. You have met the enemy Jerunika, who possesses the ability damage reduction of N minus type. Cannot be overcome. Sometimes you will meet enemies whose damage reduction cannot be overcome. All physical damage they receive will be reduced. When you fight enemies like this, use alternative ways of dealing damage. Such as spells, for example. Yeah, such as instrumental freedom and stuff. Yeah, thank you. Okay, normally, why is she still at 178? And why is she a level 11 blood rage and a level 7 monstrous humanoid? Ah, oh, that's just level 18. It's not too bad if she stays alone. If she stays alone. Why did my pig not... Uh, why... Hmm, interesting. Let's try this. Huh. 
I mean, this is some damage. Yeah. Why did this some damage? Okay, let's try this one. Why not? Then, uh, yeah. Let's do the keep power thing. And let's attack her. Ah, huh. he's doing a display. Let's see if we can put that down with some magic missiles. Yeah, we didn't overcome the thing. Yeah, then if we if they say we should use it, let's use it. I mean, it's not. Yeah, on the other hand, we didn't hit her, so probably it wasn't a great idea. Simply business. Let's see. I hope Great Boy is not dying. Ha! Huh, we killed her. This was easy. Yeah, because we knew <laughs> what to do. We catched her. Yay. Stop, stop. What are you doing? You reprobates. The beaten head cowers on the rocks. Gone is the terrifying monster you were just fighting. And in its place is a small and frightened old woman. Why did you treat an old biddy like me so harshly? Because you didn't look like that before. Haven't you any shame, you great brutes? Old Jif can't take his eyes off the hideous old crone. He's chattering. Sorry, Granny, but you better stay down. You lay there on the stones or you'll only make it worse for yourself. And listen to her. She's just stalling for time. What do you know about the demons with the strange abilities? Where are they coming from? Speak. What demons? What are you on about? Under Arushale's cold gaze, the hag face breaks into a grandmotherly smile. Ah, <laughs> now those demons. Wouldn't they be friends of yours, Aru, my dear? What are you picking on poor old me for then? I tell you everything I know, but you'd know far more on me on that score. The color drained from Arushale's face and the hag's smile grows wider, stretching from ear to ear. My little chicken, don't tell me you haven't told your new toys all that. Kept it yourself, did you? The hag burst into Reaching laughter before turning her gaze on you. Take pity on an old woman. Let me go before anyone's any more harm's done. You'd better have a word with your little demoness. Demons. Okay. But Jerunika doesn't have a f have a face. <laughs> so she she must be the bad one. You liar. I've never been to the Ivory Sanctum. Arushale's disparate outburst is drowned out by another round of cackling from the hag. Where's it you say you've never been, eh? Where? 
Like I haven't been sniffing around it, seeing who comes in, comes and who goes. You didn't see all that. I suppose you don't even know the password neither, eh? The hag looks at you. Your demon girl's lying through her teeth as per usual. Oh no! Look at her, she has such a pretty face. We must believe her. Arushale, <laughs> is this true? You've known all along where the strange demons were coming from? Do you two know each other? We've never met in the flesh, though now. Isn't that right, dearie? But I know an awful lot about her and her tricks and her dalliances with mortals. She's lied to everyone, everyone, your side and ours. So there is an our side. She's telling the truth. Rushale lowers her gaze. I lied to you. I used you. I could have told you where to look for those demons right away. But I needed someone who could help me get rid of the hag. When I was freed from the dungeons of Dresden, the demons set her on my trail, and I could not have dealt with her single-handedly. Aww. We just helped her. Hearing this, the old woman lets out the screeching cackle that shakes her whole body. What are you laughing at? It doesn't matter what I've done. You won't be leaving here alive. So you wanted me to kill your enemy for you? You'll pay for that. I have principles. I don't kill for free. I leave that to the dilettants and psychopaths. Let <laughs> her go, Arushale. Let her leave. No, wait, don't kill the hag. I want to ask her about something. Better pray to your unholy gods, hag. Now you die. All right, but don't let this lying filth confuse you. I'm the lying filth here, am I? Now that's the pot calling the cattle black. Harusha lie. Ha 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 ha. She's nice, I like her. The egg looks at you, her lips stretching into a saccharine smile. But you see that what she cannot hide from you, her aura lurid, deceitful, rotten to the core. She will try to lie to you, to fool you. Her words are poison. Who are you? Who, me? I am just a humble old soul, peaceful as they come. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I've lived here a fair old while, since the days when these lands were green and no one had ever even heard tell of them before. So she's really old. Us eggs aren't as wicked as people make us out to be. That's just nasty gossip. People don't know us. They don't understand us. That's why they fear us. They trot out all sorts of rubbish. Beast on human flesh, and we bow down to demons. Truth is, we're fey. Genuine fey. Well, I, I played Kingdom Maker, and the fey were not the good guys there. <laughs> There's even a tale about it. Want to hear it? Oh, wow. I want to hear it. Maybe you can also teach me a few conjuring tricks, and then I can go around telling folk that I'm fey and not a hideous man-eating monster. Madam Hag, I would like to ask you some questions about human flesh, if I may. Pencil and paper appears in Nanyo's hands. Tell me, how much meat does one hag consume in a day? How many villages of average size are necessary to feed a hag? on an ongoing basis without the population being reduced to zero. Are you so scrawny because you constantly under-eat? The hag eyes flash momentarily. A sickly sweet smile appears on her face. It's all nonsense, it is. And if it's, non if it's not nonsense, then it's, not, it's got nothing to do with poor old me. I eat roots and berries, mushrooms too. I've never eaten human flesh in my life. 
Tell us your tale, we'll listen. Or can we skip the stories? Yeah, no. Let's tell her, tell us. Listen well. It was a long time ago, so long ago, it's now beyond remembering when there lived three sisters in the first world in a forest known as the Simran. Beautiful they are the sisters, the kind of beauties that make folk yeah. Suitors came from all corners of the land to woo them, but the sisters just laughed and they boasted each the other about the fine gifts they received. They boasted and bragged until a century had passed, and then another and bit by bit their sisterly affection turned into a deadly rivalry. Each sister wanted to show up to the other two, turn the suitors away from them and grab all the riches for herself. A magical forest sensing this shift changed too. Thorns and barbs sprang up everywhere. The animals sprouted fangs and even the little birds began to squawk wild curses and oaths in place of pretty tunes. The matchmakers came less and less after that, until the road to the Cimarron was forgotten altogether. Succeeded up as, uh, as she tells the tale, the hag grunts between words, lisping and smacking her lips. Her gnarled fingers are also twitching, catching intricate was stop i've heard enough of your tales be quiet watch out she's casting some kind of spell trying to trick us is she it won't work okay was this the way to kill her no i uh, i should have listened even further Shouldn't have killed her right away. With unmatched speed, Arushale attacks the hag. She screeches her last rasping cackle, which soon turns into a strangled gurgle. Arushale's eyes are plaintive as she holds her your gaze. There is much I have to explain, to confess. But first, please, there's something I want to show you. Come, it's not far. Okay. I wanted to plunder the, the witch. Uh. Okay, we're still here. Good. What is there? Come on. Be faster. Uh, Arushale approaches the grave. It is small but surprisingly well maintained, maintained given the surrounding squalor and neglect. Arushale touches the cold stone, decorated with a dozen of butterfly, like she is greeting an old friend. Silently she turns to you. She retrieves a map from her bag, makes a mark on it, and holds it out to you. First things first. Here, I wasn't lying to you about this. That's where you'll find the ivory sanctum, and in it, the secret of the demons with the strange powers. The entrance is hidden under a pile of skulls. I don't know how to open it, and I never been I've never been inside, but cultists entered somehow, which means that you can find a way to get inside. Thank you for the map. I appreciate your help. Uh, I lied to you, you trusted me, and I used you to get rid of the hag. That doesn't assuage my guilt, but it is the least I can do. Who does this grave belong to? My last victim. She was a priestess of Desna. I seduced her and drained her soul. 
she died in my arms, and I, I decided to bask in her final reveries, so I dove into her fading mind. Dreams are Desna's domain. The goddess noticed my sacrilege, but for some reason she showed me mercy instead of punishment. She opened my eyes to who I was and who I could be. When I returned to my senses, the first thing I did was bury my final victim here and to make a bow before her grave that I would atone for everything I had done. Hmm, interesting. I didn't even know who she was. I seduced her, deceived her, and killed her. And she saved my soul. If only I could die and give her back her life, but I can't. All I can do is live on and help those who are still alive. How did you know the hag would be here? When I was freed in Dresden, the demon set her on my trail. She failed to catch me, but she took a hostage of soul. Ruchelet once again runs her finger over the granite's tombstone. She threatened to corrupt this grave if I didn't come here and surrender. I knew I could not defeat her on my own, so I used you. I used the lie to get you here so you would help me kill her. Forgive me, I'm sorry. How did you know about the Bell of Mercy? This place, the fortress and the bell tower, I saw them in the dream of the person lying in this grave. She was on her way here for the bell. She wanted to take it from here and return it to the Crusaders in Canabras, but she never made it there. Because, because she met me, I killed her and I devoured the, her dreams, or rather they devoured me. That's when I re-emerged re-emerged from, from the dream realm. I buried her here. I thought it was the right thing to do. I've wanted to return the bell to the Crusaders for a long time, but... She brings a hand to her face. The barest brush and the bell burns my impure fingers. Why did you have to lie? You could have just asked for help. I was afraid. Afraid that you would refuse if there was nothing in it for you. I was afraid you wouldn't believe me and... I'm a demon. For centuries it was all I knew. If you want something, you get it by lying or by force. Luring you here was so easy, so natural. Lies and manipulation, they are my native language. One I have spoken my entire life, asking for a favor. Now that is a foreign notion that I have only begun to learn. Don't think... I'm trying to justify what I did. I know my life was despicable. Really? Was it? Hmm. I knew that perfectly well when I lied to you. I knew it was a step backward. Back to the old Arushale. And I, did, I still did it. There is no excuse for it. I just want you to understand. Everything is clear now. Okay, so we can do a good, a chaotic and an evil thing. So, what are you going to do with me? I forgive you, and please try to forgive yourself. Or well, chaotic, you are tormenting you are tormenting yourself. Your lie didn't hurt anyone, did it? So there's nothing to be sorry for. You'll come with me and serve me, but if you lie to me again, your head is mine. <laughs> Even if I have to go into the abyss to take it. I'll believe you this time, but if you lie to me again, I won't be so forgiving. I don't believe you. Get out of my sight. Okay, we'll take the chaotic thing this time. Next time we'll have to take the lawful thing, so... Yeah. But I added another black mark to my soul. I tricked you. You could have been hurt. I'll never forgive myself for that. And I'll never do anything like this ever again. Yeah, well, I suppose farewell. Wait, I could use someone like you in my party. Come with me. Let's go. Ah, now you are talking. Y 
Yay! Everyone gets a level! You get the level, and you get the level! Great war, go away. No, I can't leave you. She's probably... Uh... No, I will go home anyway from here on. So, Rushale, you are a archer. Yes, I have someone to to be to come with me instead of Len. I wanted to, to let Len home at home anyway. Let's look at her. Yeah, she looks quite nice. What's her? She's a level ten, chaotic neutral, espionage expert. She's a ranger. Hmm. Nice, nice. Okay, my dear friend. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you soon. I think. Um. Until then, bye.